every adult in this house today, God. We ask that you would please touch them, Lord. If there is a need in their body, God, that your healing oils would saturate them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord God. For in faith we believe in your name, your name that saves, your name that brings restoration, your, brain, your name that means love. I would like to go ahead and have Jeremiah come up and give us a word today. Come on. Bro. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, my name is Jeremiah. Speak a little louder. Hi, my name is Jeremiah, and I'm going to be reading a scripture to you guys today. Scripture is from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 30. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. He that opened wide his lips shall have destruction. This scripture is telling us to watch what we say, to watch what we say. It's all right. Because we can't take the bad words we say back. And we need to tang our tongue, tongue and be listeners first. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Good job, buddy. I want to welcome you to the Kids Zone service today. Les quiero dar bien, ben, la bienvenida hoy al servicio oh, de los niños. Oh wow, that was weak. I want to welcome you to the Kids Zone service today. Yes. Woo! <laughs> All right. So we have some rules in Kids Zone. Así que nosotros tenemos unas reglas en el departamento de los niños. Rule number one. La regla número uno. Respeto. Respect. Jeez, she's good. Okay? So that means I would really want you to put all your iPhones. Eso significa que en la, ver la verdad yo quiero que todos sus teléfonos. Your iPads. Todo tipo de electrónico. Toys. Juguetes. Bill, I see you playing with a toy. Put Los that estoy, away. Estoy viendo que está jugando. Quite ese juego de ahí. All right? I want all that stuff put away. Todas esas cosas pónganlas a un lado, por Because favor. I want our full attention on Jesus. Porque quiero que toda nuestra atención esté en Jesús. Okay. Number two. Número dos. Participation. Participación. Today, you get an opportunity to participate in the sanctuary or at home. Hoy tienes la oportunidad de participar en el santuario o en la casa. And parents. Y padres. Kids pick up when you don't want to participate. Los hijos pueden darse cuenta cuando tú no quieres participar. Just saying. Nada más digo eso. And number three. Y la número tres. And most of my kids own kids are in here. I need you to scream it so everybody in internet land can hear it. All right? Do you remember it? Y la okay. número tres. Todos so, los niños de la zona de Escuela Dominical la saben. Quiero que la grita de la cuenta de tres. So one. Una. Two. Dos. Three. three. Have fun! Diviértanse. Exactly. Es la número tres. All right. Woo. Oh, you guys are looking a little tired. Okay. Time to do such stretches. Okay, put your hands Vamos all the way up here. Right. Now you're seated so you can touch your toes. Y oh. los pies a ver si okay, little stretches here. Yes. Little stretches there. <laughs> Sister Michelle took two a leave already, so I'm good to go. All right. <sighs> you should. <sighs> you should do. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're looking a little sleepy, so I need you to stand up. Así que pongámonos de pie porque los veo que se están durmiendo. Now in Kid Zone, nosotros en la zona de niños, we have been learning a memory verse. Hemos estado aprendiendo un versículo de memoria. That memory verse is Philippians 4, 8. Y ese versículo es Filipenses 4, 8. Now the reason why I chose this verse, y la razón por la cual yo escogí este versículo, 
is because right now this world is wanting you to hear a lot of stuff. Es porque ahorita este mundo quiere que ustedes escuchen muchas cosas. And also see a lot of stuff. Y también que vean muchas cosas. So what we do here Así que lo que hacemos aquí is we put on our spiritual headphones nos ponemos nuestros audífonos espirituales to block out all the noise. Y así podemos bloquear, bloquear todo el ruido. And I know these work. Y yo sé que estas cosas trabajan. Because when I'm yelling to the people downstairs, porque cuando yo les grito a los de abajo, have these on. Y tienen estas cosas puestas. They don't respond. No responden. They don't say anything. No dicen nada. It's not until I send a text. Y es hasta que yo les mando un texto. They finally say something. Ah, entonces responden algo. Now, these spiritual headphones. Así que estos audífonos espirituales. They help to block out music we shouldn't be listening to. Ellos también ayudan a que bloqueemos música que no debemos de escuchar. No, I know it may have a beat. Oh, sí, pero hay los ves que tienen un tono. All my friends are listening to it. Todos mis amigos lo están escuchando. It's about love. Es sobre el amor. But is it about God's love? Pero es sobre el amor de Dios. Hmm, things that make you think. Cosas que ellos piensan. And then, oh, this is a really good book. Oh, también, oh, este libro es muy bueno. It just has, a, you know, something about spirits in it. Y solo tiene algo sobre espíritus en él. God won't mind. A Dios eso no le importa. But is it drawing me any closer to him? Pero eso me está acercando un poquito más a él. Hmm. These also help to block out certain words. Y también ayudan a bloquear ciertas palabras. But I hear my friends saying it on the playground. Pero yo oigo a todos mis amigos que las están diciendo diciendo en los deal. juegos. No puede ser un gran problema ese. I heard my dad say it. También oigo a mi papá decirla. Spiritual headphones. Audífonos espirituales. We have to filter everything that we hear. Tenemos que filtrar todo lo que nosotros escuchamos. Todo lo que nosotros vemos. Everything that we speak. Todo lo que nosotros hablamos. Through this word. A través de ese gran libro. And so Philippians 4:8. Así que Filipenses 4:8 is going to help us do that. Nos va a ayudar a hacer eso. All right, so here's the participation part. Okay? Así que aquí se trata de participar. So, Philippians 4. Filipenses 4. Oh, come on! I forgot to say, everybody is a kid in this sanctuary. Oh, today. se me olvidó decir que todos son un niño adults, en el servicio hoy. Oh, adultos. Adults, your age is the size of your shoe. Adultos, su edad es la medida de su zapato. 14. Yes! Oh. <laughs> so with the exception of my husband, my son, and a couple others in here, they get to still be middle schoolers. Y mi esposo y Seth aún tienen que ser como estudiantes de secundaria. But most of the rest of you get to be kids. Pero todos ustedes tienen que ser niños. All right, so Philippians 4. Come on, Brandon. Okay, there we go. 4, 8. Filipenses 4, 8. Okay. Whatsoever is false. Ah, much Todo lo que better. Es verdadero. You guys got it. First service, they were kind of asleep. Okay. Yeah. This is important. You got to know your word. Tienen que saber su palabra. Because even right now, there are people that are trying to take, add in scripture or take scripture out. Porque ahorita ya hay muchos que están tratando de adherir escritura o quitar escritura. So we got to have this scripture in our heart and in our mind. Así que nosotros debemos de tener la escritura en nuestro corazón y en nuestras mentes. Good. So, whatsoever is true. Así que todo lo que es verdadero. Whatsoever is honest. O todo lo que es honesto. Whatsoever is just. Todo lo que es justo. Whatsoever is pure. Todo lo que es puro. Okay, guys, this is going to be a little bit for you, but you can act, okay? Some of you can be drama, all right? So, <laughs> a ver, algunos aquí, ustedes pueden ser dramáticos, pero... Whatsoever is lovely. Todo lo que es... Yeah. <laughs> Got the problem with the first service too. Okay. Whatsoever is lovely. Todo lo que es amable. Whatsoever is a good report. Todo lo que es de buen reporte. If there be any virtue. 
si hay alguna virtud en esto if there be any praise si hay alguna alabanza think piensen on these things en estas cosas alright they're going to do it one more time alright go ahead so whatsoever is true whatsoever is honest whatsoever is just whatsoever is pure whatsoever is lovely whatsoever is of a good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things all right you may be seated who's ready for Pueden a game sentarse. yeah all right i would like to have sister abby and sister janine come on up ahora con nosotros la hermana abby y la hermana Ginny. said the right thing. Good morning, Kids Zone. I had the same issue with first service. As Sister Michelle said, we are all kids today. So, good morning, Kids Zone. There's the coffee. All right. So, when I found out we were taking over this Sunday that Kids Zone was going to be leading, I was super excited. I missed Every single one of you kids, I know I tell you guys this all the time, but I really did miss Kid Zone. I missed our worship. I missed the fun that we always have. Not that adult service isn't fun and the worship isn't great, but it's kind of different when we do it with our kids. So today we are going to play a game. And the cool thing is, is that parents get to get involved too. Yeah, you parents don't sound too excited. It's gonna be fun, I promise. There's no running, no heavy lifting. You just gotta, that's it. See, made it easy for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, let's have, hmm, who do I wanna start off with? Jeremiah and Brother Devante. <laughs> You good, come on. Just, yeah, just cover your face, that's all. When you come up. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, so you're going to stand on this side, Jeremiah, and you're going to stand there. So now, what's going to happen is they're going to put a picture up on the screen when I say go. When you see the picture, you have to and guess the picture. Now, one thing I noticed in first service, you can't do, well, I'm going to do it again, so you might as well stay right there. You can't do... I don't hear that. You see, there's nothing. So that's all you gotta do. But you gotta be quick, because your dad's quick too. Okay? All right, I'm just saying. Okay, she's gonna clean that off for you. All right, let's put up the first picture. Jeremiah. It, it was a game, but I saw it in a movie. It was a game that started a movie. Atari. Atari! So the parents get the points. You guys can go have a seat. Thank you. So for those that don't know, this is a very older game system. I'm not going to say old. One of the first. So it's older, not old. I know some people probably just felt their age with that right now. All right. <laughs> Let's do Sister Chayo and Joseph. Man, this one's playing. I got to go update my Wii character. Makes me think of my... Uh, Avatar for we, yeah. Okay. Guys, don't look scared. It's okay. You just hit a buzzard, okay? All right. Can we put the next picture up? Okay. 
จิตนะนะโอเค that does somebody know Sydney Clash of Clans so nobody gets the point thank you I mean I thought that one was gonna be easy that's not easy no <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay, let's do brother Jose and Lucas. Run, Jose! Run! I promise no exertion. They can just walk. <laughs> Gilbert, no. <laughs> Do you know? Cubert. Parents get the point. <sighs> wow. Okay, let's. Nobody knew. <laughs> Wait, go to you. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do Cartier and Randy. <laughs> Woo! Brother Randy needs some hype. <laughs> So as you can see, oh yeah, that's that's good. That's a good one. Temple Run. Temple Run. All right. Randy, dude, you slacking? <laughs> so, wow, that was that was quick. That was real quick. All right, let's do Sister Monisha and Autumn. So the kids are leading by half a point. Okay, half a point. Come on, 
All right, no pressure, like none whatsoever, promise, okay? All right, next picture. Nintendo? No. <laughs> I know it, but I don't know the name. <laughs> it's a PlayStation. PlayStation! <laughs> she got it mixed up, she said. It was just a mix-up. It was a mix-up. I'll give her that. Okay, it was a mix-up. All right, let's do Brother Kyle and Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. Whoop, whoop. Come on this side, sweetie. Oh, okay, let her choose. It doesn't matter. It's good with me. All right, so you know how to do it, right? Okay. Let's do the next picture. Do you know it? You gotta hit the button if you know it. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that was so honest. I think it's a Ninja Slash. Do I give it? I mean. The name Ninja is in it. Half a point. Half a point. It's Fruit Ninja. Half a point. So, okay. Kids are still leading, but good job, Lisa. You tried. All right. Let's do Sister Angelica and Ramaya. Come on, Jelly. Better get this. I'll disown you as a friend if you don't. Don't let her win. You better be. Our friendship's on the line. I'm just playing. <laughs> Next picture. Minecraft. Minecraft! You didn't even try. I'm so done. I'm so done. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is Brother Brian and Brother Elisha up here? Downstairs? All right, if you guys can get your way up here, I'll call the next people up. Uh, let's do Pastor Rick and Caden. Yes! It is on! I just saw him. He was, yes! It's like, I got this! Okay. Okay, remember, okay, that, that's all I need. I don't need that. Sorry, my bad. Okay, next one. PS4. PS4! <laughs> all right, Brother Brian and Brother Elisha. Okay, again, I just need you guys to press it. Don't slam it, please. You two especially. All right, next. Dude, it's from your time. Our time. Space Invader? No. Sorry. No, it's not Space Invaders. He just said Space Invaders. He already got it. He said Space Invaders. I mean, he didn't get it. He said Space Invaders. So we're waiting for Brother Brian. And he doesn't know. Do you know? Okay. It's, it's, not a, it's not a controller. That is Centipede. Yes. Centipede's at the top up there. You see him? Centipede. Half a point because someone screamed it and he heard it. You're good. Centipede, for the win. 
All right, last but not least, we are going to do Sister Lindsay and Hannah. screen I promise that's fine it's, it's fine it's called sleep that's the game that's sleep that thing yeah us as parents don't know anymore sleep oh You know? Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot! All right! Man! The kids slaughtered us this, this service. First service technically was supposed to be the adults, but it was tied. But yeah. All right! Kids win! Round of applause. Oh, yeah. All right, you sleepy head, stand up. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some Te Amo, right? Oh, yes. My girls are up here. Come on, come on. We got to do this. I know. They did awesome. All right, let's do this. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands. Time for some worship. Cardio worship.
Jesus. God, Lord, we want your kingdom to come. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. We're rising. just worship him. God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory right now, God, for we want your perfect will to be done, that you would touch every child, every teenager, every adult, both here in the sanctuary and at home, God, because we want you. We don't want to block out everything else that this world has. We want no distraction because we want to be close to you. In Jesus' name we pray. God, we thank you. As Pastor Rick comes up, ladies, you can go. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Sister Melda, I need you for a second. I want to first thank the kids. Primero que todo, le quiero dar gracias a los niños. Every picture that you send me, cada fotografía que ustedes me envían, 
It gives me like a warm fuzzy in my heart. Me hace sentir un calor en mi corazón. To know that you're watching on Facebook. O sea que me estás viendo en Facebook. Or you're watching on YouTube. Oh, in YouTube. I want to thank you parents. También les quiero dar las gracias a los padres. Or grandparents. O abuelos. Or aunts and uncles. O tías y tíos. For turning on Facebook. Por prender estos en Facebook. Or turning on YouTube. O YouTube. For your kids to connect with the kids' own lessons that we provide. Para que los niños se conecten con las lecciones que ha estado poniendo ahí, presentando ahí la zona de niños. I have to thank Pastor Rick and Sister Angela. Yo tengo que darle las gracias al Pastor Rick y a su esposa, la hermana Angela, for allowing us to have this service today. Por permitirnos tener este servicio hoy. Because I miss the kids. Porque yo extraño a los niños. The teachers miss you kids. Los las maestras les están extrañando niños. I also need to thank Brother Daniel Barrera. También yo le quiero dar las gracias al hermano Daniel Barrera. And of course, Brother Jason too. But they're the ones that add the cool sounds and the cool little. I don't know, squiggly things when we do worship and everything like that. Porque ellos son los que ponen todo aquel brillo en aquellas presentaciones que hemos estado haciendo. Trust me, if it wasn't for his editing. Y les voy a decir, confíen en mí cuando les digo, si no es porque él ha editado. The kids' on services look a lot different. La zona de los niños sería mucho más diferente. So, anyways, I just want to let you guys know that we love you and we miss you. So, to, solamente le quiero dejar saber a todos que los amamos as y los you extrañamos. Leave, as you leave today, y mientras hoy ustedes se retiran, we want to give the kids a little bit of love. Les queremos dar un poquito de amor a nuestros niños. Since it's school time, we got you a pencil bag. <laughs> Así que vamos a regalarles una bolsita de lápices. It's a nice one. Está bonita. And I just ask that it be just for the kids that are here. Y les pido que solo sea para los niños que hoy okay. están aquí presentes. I just want to let you know, kids all loves you. Solamente les quiero dejar saber la zona de niños les ama. Amen. Let's give Sister Michelle and her wonderful team a hand today. Demos They're doing a wonderful un aplauso job. Amen. A la hermana Michelle. Amen. You may be seated today. Puedan sentarse hoy. In addition to those those bags, there's a, a prayer that is inside of those pencil bags. En, en esas bolsitas adentro va una oración. And we want you to know that our entire team, the Kids Zone staff, our staff at the church, we are praying for our kids during this season. Y yo quiero que ustedes sepan que todo el equipo de esta iglesia ha estado orando por ustedes niños en esta época. And it means so much that you are all joining us today as the kids take over the service today. Y nos llena de gozo el que hoy ustedes estén aquí tomando en control este servicio de niños. And uh, why don't we lift our hands right now? I want us just to have a moment where we just pray for our kids. We're going to pray at the end with our families, but this is so important right now. Esto es muy importante. Quiero que tomemos un tiempo para orar. Oraremos al final también. Pero esto es importante ahora. Father, we thank you today for the opportunity to be here together as one body, worshiping you in spirit and in truth. God, we could do things in different ways. We could be excited. We could, we could jump, dance, do all kinds of things. But Lord, today we honor you in everything that we do today, Lord. Cover our children, God, as they are going back to school, as they're dealing with all kinds of dynamics Lord cover our babies today cover our children Lord in your precious name in the name of Jesus today would you clap your hands to the Lord amen amen how many will commit to be praying for our children during this season amen cuántos se comprometen a orar por nuestros niños en esta época amen I, I want to bring to you a few announcements today yo les voy a traer unos anuncios hoy if you are worshiping the Lord and you're giving via cash or via check there are drop boxes at each of the doors 
Si ustedes van a estar pagando de forma en efectivo o con cheque, hay unas cajas en el salir de la, en las puertas de salida de la iglesia. As you can see, we're continuing to try to strive for making this a safe and fun environment for our church family. Y seguimos tratando con lo mejor que podemos para hacer de este lugar un lugar seguro, sano para nuestra familia. So we're not passing out the, the offering bags as we normally would. Así que no estamos pasando las bolsas de ofrenda como lo hacemos normalmente. But many of us are utilizing the online giving that can be found at www.chicagoonfire.org. Y estamos ya muchos usando la línea por el internet en Chicago. Chicago. Punto on Home fire in fuego in, well yeah. not not really for that one so Chicago <laughs> it has to be Chicago oh on fire <laughs> but um, we're having yeah. a little fun Ahí está Ahí la encontramos. <laughs> so with, with that there's many ways to give you can text to give there's all kinds of ways to do that and thank you for continuing to worship in your giving y hay muchas maneras de hacerlo también por medio de un texto gracias por continuar dando there's two things adults that I want you to focus on right now if I could get your attention y hay dos cosas adultos que quiero que se enfoquen si puedo yo obtener en este momento su atención you can tell if you have any discernment of what's going on right now that we are in a war like never before. Si ustedes pueden ver o pueden discernir que estamos en guerra en este momento. The Bible says that offenses will come. Y la Biblia nos dice que las ofensas vendrán. While there is so much division, there are so many that are being offended. The church is more unified than ever before. Y mientras muchos están siendo ofendidos la iglesia está a unida, unida aún más and I'm asking you to participate in two things y yo les estoy pidiendo que participen en dos cosas September and October we are going to be praying and fasting like we have never done before en septiembre y en octubre vamos a estar ayunando y orando como nunca antes lo hemos hecho and so there's two things I want you to participate in is that we're going to be having a 24 hour prayer chain that's going to be coinciding with our 40 days of prayer and fasting. Vamos a tener servicios de oración que van a estar coincidiendo con nuestro tiempo de ayuno y oración. Everybody say 24 hour prayer chain. Una cadena de 24 horas. Díganlo todos. That's going to be happening on the, the Sunday before our 40 days of prayer and fasting. So September 13th is when we're going to be having our 24 hour prayer chain from 7 p.m. Sunday night to 7 p.m. Monday night. Vamos a tener un servicio de 24 horas de oración que va a ser el domingo septiembre 13 antes de iniciar nuestro tiempo de ayuno y oración. Esto sería el domingo a las 7 terminando el lunes a las 7 de la noche también. And so we'll be sending out a communication this week that will allow you to sign up for a two hour session of prayer here at the church. Y vamos a estar mandando la información para que ustedes se firmen y puedan participar en dos horas, secciones de dos horas de oración aquí en la iglesia. That's the first thing that I'm believing that we will have 100% participation in. Y esa es una de las cosas que yo creo y tengo la certeza de que vamos a tener 100% participación. The second thing I'm asking is that you would join us for one night during the week for prayer. Y también yo les pido que vengan a unirse con nosotros por una noche para estas sesiones de oración. Una so vez. from Sunday to Friday. Así que de domingo a viernes. We have the 24-hour prayer chain tenemos, Sunday and Monday. Tenemos el servicio de oración de domingo a lunes. But also the the weeknights up till Friday. Pero también todas las noches hasta el viernes. Seven to nine, the church will be open for prayer. De siete a nueve, la iglesia estará abierta para oración. And so I'm asking you to be involved with two things: the 24-hour prayer chain. Así que yo les pido que se envuelvan en dos cosas: en las 24 horas de oración. And to join us one night a week for prayer. Y que nos se vengan a unir con nosotros a una de las noches. De oración. There is no reason why prayer services should be the lowest attended services in a church. No tiene por qué ser que los servicios de oración sean los más vacíos en una iglesia. Can I get an amen? Puedo yo obtener una amen? amen. 
I, I'm believing that we are going to enter into some amazing things. God is opening up doors in the name of Jesus. Yo sé que vamos a entrar a lugares que el Señor está abriendo maravillosos en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. I, I'm moving along quick. I got a lot today. But Me estoy moviendo rápido. Tengo mucho que decir. But there's two events that are coming up. The first one being the, the leadership and prayer meeting that is happening September 5th at 9 a.m. Vamos a tener un servicio en septiembre 5 de líderes y también lo traigo aquí. If you serve in any capacity. Si tú sirves en cualquier capacidad. Or you're desiring to serve. O tienes el deseo de you servir. You need to be here September 5th at Tienes 9 que estar aquí el septiembre 5. And the ladies will, will be kicking off this season of prayer September 12th for the ladies prayer renewal service. Y también tendremos un servicio de damas en septiembre 12 para las damas para servicio de renovamiento be, there will be a registration for this and there is limited uh, availability so make sure you register as soon as possible asegúrense de ya firmarse porque está muy limitado el espacio y se están llenando pronto los espacios all right I think I got it all creo que ya lo dije todo however however como quiera I would like to honor two very special people today. Yo quiero honrar a dos personas muy especiales. I want to say thank you for the team that put together honoring my wife and I for our anniversary last week. Quiero darle gracias a todos aquellos que pusieron junto un regalo para honrar a mi esposa y a mí mismo. And my wife, my wife and I would like to honor uh, Bishop and Sister G, they had an anniversary as well. Y yo y mi esposa queremos honrar al obispo y a su esposa porque también tuvieron su aniversario. I'd like to invite my beautiful, beautiful wife. Así que here. quiero invitar a mi hermosa, hermosa, hermosa esposa. But we, Sister Angela and I, have said to our team in the midst of the transition that no matter what, double honor will always go to Bishop and Sister G for founding this church. Y en medio de la transición yo y mi esposa hemos hablado que siempre tendremos doble honor para nuestro obispo y su esposa. Bishop, Sister G, would you come up? Vamos We honor aquí, you happy hermana. anniversary 33 years. 33 años. Uh! Amen. Bravo. Happy anniversary. There Sister G is only 34 years old. <laughs> La hermana Vicky solo tiene 34 años. <laughs> we love them. Los amamos. Amen. Let's give them a hand one more time. Bravo. Un aplauso para ellos. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. Sister G is going to be ministering to us. Let's welcome her today. Demos la bienvenida a la hermana Vicky. Oh, la hermana G. I'm going to get turned on here. <laughs> I was talking about the mic. I am so excited about our kids' service. <laughs> Estoy muy emocionada por nuestro servicio de niños hoy. I truly believe that our kids' services are the most important, uh, besides prayer, you know, but the most important services. Yo estoy muy convencida de que el servicio de niños después de la oración es lo más importante. Because this is about the generation that's coming. Porque esto es sobre la generación que viene. And I am so glad that each of you are here with me. Y yo estoy muy contenta de que cada uno give yourselves a hand. Están aquí. Dense un aplauso. All right, you may be seated. Pueden sentarse. You can get your Bible. I am going to pick a young man to come and help me today. Vamos a escoger a un joven aquí para que venga a ayudar a la hermana. Brother Caden is going to help me today. And he's going to come and sit in the chair. Así que el hermano Caden se va a sentar en la silla. And this is a special chair that you're going to find out. Y esta se trata de una silla especial que ustedes ya se enterarán. Now we played a game today and again I could probably just tell you one 
correct answer. Y nuevamente con el juego de hoy yo solamente creo que puedo haber dicho una respuesta. And that was the Lego Batman. Y ese fue el Lego Batman. Because my grandchildren. <laughs> Porque mis nietos. But the first video game that came out um, in my study. Y el primer juego, videojuego que vino en mi estudio was in 1952. Fue en el 19, 1952. But video games did not become popular until the Atari game came out in 1972. Pero los videojuegos no se hicieron famosos hasta más o menos en el 1972 cuando vino a ser el Atari. But it was really in the 1980s that video games just, uh, they were exploding with popularity. Pero no fue hasta los 1980 cuando esto de los videojuegos vino a explotar en popularidad. How many remember Nintendo? ¿Quién se acuerda del Nintendo? Or Sega. O el llamado Sega. Um, it was the game Super Mario. El Super Mario. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Space Invaders. Yes. Space Invaders. <laughs> It's just the same. And then came Nintendo 64. Y después vino el Nintendo 54. PlayStation. PlayStation. Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> the Wii. El Wii. <laughs> Everybody was about video games. Y todos estaban sobre los videojuegos. Except me. Excepto de yo. <laughs> I didn't play video games. Yo no jugaba videojuegos. I, I didn't have video games when I was young. Tampoco tuve videojuegos cuando yo era joven. What I played was this. Lo que yo jugaba era esto. Board games. Juegos de mesa. I love board games. Yo amo los juegos de mesa. My family would play board games. Mi familia jugaba juegos de mesa. Every family night, once a week. Todo, to, todas las semanas teníamos un día de noche familiar. Even though I don't know a lot about video games. Y aunque no sé mucho sobre videojuegos. Kaden, I know one thing that you have to have in a video game. Kaden, I, yo sé algo que todos tenemos que tener en el videojuego. It's one of the most important things that you have to have in a video game. Y es una de las cosas más importantes que tienes que tener en un videojuego. And you have to know how to use it. Y también tienes que saber cómo usarlo. I played a video game one time in my life. Yo he jugado un juego así una vez en mi vida. That was with my son, Pastor Ryan, and he eso, probably does not even remember. Y eso fue con mi hijo, Ryan, Pastor Ryan, que estoy segura que ni se acuerda. Because he was laughing the entire time. Porque él estaba riéndose todo ese tiempo. Because we were playing, we had this sports game which was about the only game that we had and it had a, a what was it a snowboard the era, snowboarding game era un juego como de trineos que se resbalaban and I was trying to figure out and all I was doing is hitting the sides and crashing and burning the whole entire time. Y mientras yo trataba de figurar estaba chocando y quemándome todo el tiempo. And if you know anything about Sister G, I like to win games. Y si ustedes saben algo sobre ella es que a ella le gusta ganar los juegos. So I decided that I would stick with board games. Así que decidí quedarme mejor con los juegos de mesa. But one thing that you have to have in a video game is a controller. Y una de las cosas que debemos de tener en un video de un juego video es un control. The controller is so important. El control es muy importante. And today I want to speak to you and my title is who has the controller. Y yo les quiero hablar sobre este título hoy. ¿Quién tiene el control? This is probably the most important thing in your life. Esto es tal vez lo más importante en tu vida. Now, we like to have the control. 
Ahora, en verdad nos gusta tener el control. It's interesting. In life, it's not a video game. Es interesante. La vida no es un videojuego. And it's certainly not a board game. Y tampoco un juego de mesa. But it's interesting that on this game of life, board game, it says this. Pero en este juego es interesante, en este juego de la vida, que dice esto. Live the life you want. Vive la vida que quieres vivir. Choose your path of life of action, adventure, and unexpected surprises. Escoge tú la aventura o las sorpresas que quieres vivir en este camino. It's your choice. Es tu opción. Because it's all about who has the control. Porque se trata todo sobre quién tiene el control. Jesus said in Matthew 6:33. Jesús dijo en Mateo 6:33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Busca primeramente el reino de Dios y su justicia. If you'll seek God first, si primero buscas a Dios, then all these things will be added unto you. Todas estas cosas entonces se adirán a tu vida. Jesus wants to have control of our life. Jesús tiene, quiere tener el control de nuestra vida. He wants to be in control of your plans. Él quiere estar en control de tus planes. He wants to be in control of the words that you speak. Él quiere estar en control de las palabras que tú hablas. He wants to be in control of the things that you do. Y también quiere estar en control de las cosas que tú the, haces. The places that you go. Los lugares a los que tú vas. Because Jesus has a great plan for you. Porque Jesús tiene un gran plan para ti. He He wants what's best for you, Caden. Él quiere lo mejor para ti, Caden. He will give you treasure. Él te va a dar tesoro. He'll give you everything that you want. Y te dará todo lo que tú quieres. But, pero, you have to give him the controller. Tienes que darle a él el control. But we don't like to hand over the controller, do we, Caden? Pero no nos gusta dar el control. I know this sí, from personal experience. Y yo sé esto por experiencia personal. Right? Because you want to be in control. Porque tú quieres estar en control. Because you know just how to move. Porque tú sabes cómo van las movidas. You played the game enough that you know that you have to go here and you have to go there. Juegas el juego y ya sabes cómo ir aquí y ir allá. We don't like to give away the controller. Y no queremos dejar o dar el control. And the enemy is very excited about that. Y el enemigo está muy emocionado en cuanto a eso. Because even though you can't see him, porque aunque tú no lo puedes ver, he says, and says "Hey, just hold on to the controller." Él dice. Mantén el control bien agarrado. Don't let that controller go. No dejes ir ese control. Hold tight. Agárralo fuerte. Satan is happy. Satanás está feliz. When you're holding the controller. Cuando tienes bien agarrado el control. And I thought about this. How could I... Get this message across to you. Y yo pensé, ¿cómo pasar este mensaje a ustedes? Because I think everybody in here loves God. Porque yo creo que todos aquí en este cuarto aman a Dios. And we say to God, I'm going to give my whole life to you. Y venimos y le decimos a Dios, yo te voy a entregar toda mi vida a ti. I'm going to give you all my twenty dollars. Y te voy a dar todos mis veinte dólares. This was all that I had. Esto es todo lo que yo tenía. I'm going to give everything to you. Es, te voy a dar todo a ti. Isn't that raise your hand? Isn't that what you, God? I want to give you everything. No es lo que hacemos, Dios. Te queremos dar todo. 
But what you don't understand is this is what God does. Pero lo que no entendemos es que esto es lo que Dios hace. He says, really, you want to give me everything? Sí, en verdad, ¿quieres darme todo? So he takes us to this pretend bank. Y nos lleva a este banco pretendiendo. And he starts to give us, okay, let's exchange your $20 For, let's see, I think it's 80 quarters. Parece que son 80 coras y él no las empieza a, a cambiar por los 20. Are you sure you want to give me your whole life? En verdad estás seguro que quieres darme toda tu vida? Because I really, I want your whole life. Porque en realidad yo quiero toda tu vida. I want you to hand me the controller. Y yo quiero que tú me des a mí el control. But then... A 25 cent choice comes our way. Pero enseguida viene a nosotros una decisión de 25 centavos. And we decide, uh, I think I'll take that. Y decidimos, mm, creo que mejor me quedo con ella. Or another 25 cent choice. O otra decisión de 25 centavos. Because life is made up of a lot of 25 cent choices. Porque la vida está hecha de muchas decisiones de 25 centavos. But I want to give my whole life. Pero yo le quiero dar toda mi vida. Okay, then you have to give me control Entonces, of every choice that you're going to make. Que darme la el poder de toda decisión que tú vas a hacer. Because it's about the little 25 cent choices. Porque se trata todo de todas esas opciones de 25 centavos. There's a story in the Bible about a man named Lot. Hay una historia en la Biblia de un hombre llamado Lot. Now listen, Lot was a good man. Lot era un buen hombre. Escucha. He loved God. Y él amaba a Dios. He wanted the best life. Y él quería la mejor vida. He wanted what was best for his family. Y él quería lo que era mejor para su familia. The problem is. Pero el problema fue. The Bible says. La Biblia dice. Genesis 13:12. En Génesis 13:12. Adam dwelt in the land of Canaan and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain. And this is what it said. And pitched or turned his tent toward Sodom. Dice que Abraham acampó en la tierra de Canaán, pero Lot, Lot en las ciudades, en las llanuras que estaban hacia Sodoma. One 25 cent choice that y, Lot made. Y una opción de 25 centavos que hizo Lot. A choice that he thought didn't really matter. Una opción que él en verdad no creyó que importaría tanto. The thing is, one 25 cent choice. Porque la cosa es que una vez que haces una opción de 25 centavos. Of turning his tent toward Sodom Alel voltear aquella casa hacia Sodoma which Sodom was a sinful city y Sodoma sabemos que era una ciudad de mucho pecado turned into another 25 cent choice se convirtió en otra opción de 25 centavos of hey your kids need to go to school so you got to send them to Sodom algo así como hey tus hijos tienen que ir a la escuela así que Tienes que inscribirlos en Sodoma. Turned into another 25 cent choice of hey, I got to move to Sodom. Entonces se convirtió en otra opción de 25 centavos donde tengo que moverme a Sodoma. Now he has his family in this sinful city. Ahora ya tiene a toda su familia en esta ciudad pecaminosa. And we don't realize that one little choice y no realizamos que una pequeña decisión that, that we think doesn't matter que creemos que no importa affected his whole family afectó a toda su familia affected his life afectó su vida because his wife died porque su esposa murió You know the story. Tú sabes la historia. He was turned to salt. Ella se convirtió en una estatua de sal. His daughters sinned. Sus hijas pecaron. A horrible sin. Un pecado horrible. 
and his family for generations. Y su familia por generaciones. The Bible says that they vexed and tormented the people of God. Y quiere y dice que fueron tormentan, atormentando al pueblo de Dios. Because sin has a drawing effect. Porque el pecado tiene un efecto de pérdida. Kids, niños, sin has a drawing effect. El pecado tiene un efecto de pérdida. Because the enemy wants you to think that one little choice does. El enemigo quiere que ustedes piensen que una pequeña simple opción no importa. Don't buy into the idea. No caigan en la idea that your choices don't matter. Que sus opciones no importan. It's a lie. Es una mentira. Come on, listen, it's a lie. Es una mentira. We make choices every day. Hacemos decisiones todos los días. Parents, adults, padres, adultos, you made a choice today. Ustedes hicieron una opción o decisión hoy. Kids, you made a choice today. Niños, hoy hicieron una decisión. And that choice y esa decisión gets put in the bank of God está siendo puesta en el banco de Dios or the bank of the enemy o en el banco del enemigo because every choice that you make porque toda decisión que tú haces affects you te afecta your choices determine your direction tus opciones determinan tu dirección. Every choice gives birth to a consequence. Toda opción va a dar a luz una consecuencia. You've heard the bishop preach it. You've heard the pastor preach it. Ya escuchaste al obispo decirlo o al pastor decirlo. You can make a choice, kids, but listen. You get don't get to choose the consequence of your choice. Tú puedes hacer decisiones, escucha, pero tú no vas a escoger las consecuencias de tu opción. Because the consequence of your choice Porque la consecuencia de tu opción is determined by who is holding the controller of your life. Está determinado por quién está teniendo el control de tu vida. Brother Ryan, come and help me. Hermano Ryan, venga a ayudarme. It's like this. Es como esto. Choices are like a chain link. Las opciones vienen a ser como eslabones de cadena. And it's just the choice y es solo una opción Brother Ryan to stay home from church como quedarse en casa y no ir a la iglesia or maybe not to pray today o tal vez no orar hoy or read your Bible today o leer tu Biblia hoy or adults uh You know that there's this bill coming, so there's no way that you can pay your tithe. O adultos saben que se aproxima algún cobro y pues mejor no voy a pagar este el diezmo. Or young person, o joven, you know that you're not supposed to go to that site, but just, just I'm just gonna look. Just a little bit. Tú sabes que no debes de ir a ese lugar en la pantalla, pero vas a solo ver un poquito. Or young lady, that guy, he's not in church, but man, he's so nice looking. O tal oh. vez alguien allá afuera, una mujer o un hombre que oh, It's que It's not going to hurt me just to talk to him. No me va a hacer ningún mal que solo hable con él. What does that little choice matter? ¿Qué importa esa pequeña decisión? Or to listen to that gossip. O escuchar ese chisme. Or hey, 
parents, what about this? Uh, just to be on your phone in church while your kids are watching you. Oh, padres, ¿qué tal estar en su teléfono mientras sus hijos les observan? And what becomes just one decision y lo que viene a ser solo una vez una decisión becomes a chain viene a ser una cadena you think just a little thing y crees que es solamente una cosa pequeña but it's not pero no because it leads to one decision after another porque te está llevando de una decisión a otra decisión which starts to become bondage que viene a ser una esclavitud or let me say i, I this is a different generation i understand o oh, déjame decirte esta es una generación diferente y lo entiendo but letting your kids or young people choose if they want to come to church or not. Oh, dejar oh que tus hijos hagan la decisión si quieren venir a la iglesia. Or choose if they want to be involved in the youth or oh, the Sunday school or not. Elegir si quieren estar en la escuela dominical o con la los servicios de los jóvenes. And parents, you don't realize y padres no realizamos that every decision becomes a link. Y no realizamos que todo esto viene a ser un vínculo o una relación. Put it up there. Póngalo ahí. We make choices. Hacemos decisiones. You're going to see it up here. Lo van a ver aquí en la pantalla. At some point, <laughs> it will come. There we go. Choices lead to habits. Decisiones vienen come on, a ser hábitos. I didn't come up with this. This has been around a long time. Yo no inventé esto. Esto ya tiene tiempo ahí. Habits become actions. Los hábitos vienen a ser acciones. Actions will become your identity. Y las acciones vendrán a ser su identidad. And it becomes your nature or character. Y entonces viene a formar And what happens is it becomes a chain. Y es entonces una cadena. And you're led around by the actions and the choices that you've made. Y sí, y va siendo guiado siendo guiado por las decisiones and que tú hiciste. What you don't realize that it all gets connected to who is holding the controller. Y lo que no realizas es quién está conectado al control. Now, Caden thinks he's holding the controller. Pero Caden piensa que él tiene el control. But really, if your flesh is holding the controller, pero la verdad es que si tu carne está agarrando el control, you are connected to the enemy of your soul. Tú estás conectado con el enemigo de tu alma. But I think the Bible says that Jesus has come to break every chain. Pero yo creo y sé que la palabra dice que Jesús ha venido a romper toda cadena. But in order for him to break the chains, pero para que él venga y rompa la cadena, you have to hand him the controller. Tienes que entregarle a él el control. So my question today, así que mi pregunta hoy, is who has the controller? Es quién tiene el control. Every choice that you make, cada decisión que tú haces. Leads you on one of two roads. Te lleva a una o otra a vereda, camino. There's a wide road. Hay un camino ancho. And there is a narrow road. Y hay un camino angosto. The Bible says that you cannot serve two masters. La Biblia nos dice que no podemos servir a dos señores. It says you will love one. Dice que vas a amar a uno and hate the other y odiar al otro you'll either love god o amas a dios or hate the devil o odi y odias al diablo or you'll love the devil o amas al diablo and hate god y odias a dios there's no middle ground no hay un término I'm medio sorry kids there's nothing in the middle lo siento niños pero hay nada en el medio you're either on the wide path 
o estás en el camino ancho or you're on the narrow road o estás en el camino angosto there is no middle ground no hay un término medio camino en medio what's your 25 cent choice esa fue tu decisión de 25 centavos what are you linked to a qué estás tú con qué estás tú relacionado there's a way that seems right to a man I Proverbs 14 says there's a way that seems right to a man hay un camino que parece correcto para el hombre but the end is death pero el final es muerte Lot chose to move closer to Sodom Lot eligió acercarse a vivir más hacia Sodoma I've done this many times and it never gets old. Hold Yo he hecho esto ya muchas veces y nunca end. se hace viejo. This is representing our life. Esto representa nuestra vida. And I've heard it, I thought it, kids, I thought I had so much time. Y yo misma lo he hecho, lo he pensado que yo tenía mucha vida. I have enough time, y right? tengo suficiente tiempo. It, I have time to make choices. Tiempo para hacer decisiones. And I have time to repent and, and go the right way. Y he tenido el tiempo de arrepentirme e ir por el camino correcto. What we don't understand about life. Pero lo que no entendemos sobre la vida. Is that really All we have of life is this little portion. Que lo único que tenemos es de vida solamente esa pequeña porción. You see that this little portion. Pueden ver esa pequeña porción. And it's what you do in this little bitty amount of time. Y es lo que tú haces en este pequeño tiempo. That affects all the rest of this. Que afecta todo el resto de esto because you're going to live forever somewhere porque tú vivirás por siempre en algún lugar but it depends upon the choices that you make here pero depende de las decisiones que tú has hecho ahí to what happens over here qué pasa aquí your choices matter tus decisiones importan And let me tell you, life is not a video game. La vida no es un videojuego. Déjenme decírselos. Life is not a board game. La vida tampoco es un juego de mesa. Ryan, you can... But life does, Brother Caden, involve a controller. Pero la vida, hermano Caden, envuelve un control. And it matters who has... The controller. Importa quién tiene el control. Because whoever has the controller. Porque quien sea que tiene el control. Determines the direction that you go. Determina la dirección en la que tú vas. So. Will you give the controller to God? Así que podrías darle tú el control a Dios. This is just a simple illustration. Esto es una ilustración muy simple. Thank you, Brother Caden. Gracias, Brother Caden. Our life, nuestra vida, involves a chair. Envuelve una silla. It's called a throne. Y se llama el trono. And somebody sits on the throne of our life. Y alguien se sienta en el trono de nuestra vida. For many years. Por muchos años. And still, let me just be honest. Every, y aún, déjame ser honesta. Every once in a while. De vez en cuando. I'll kick God off the chair and come and sit down. Yo quito a Dios del trono y yo me siento. And grab hold of the controller. Y agarro ese control. Because I think that I can figure out my life. Porque creo que puedo figurar mi vida. But how many times have I had to say nope? Pero cuántas veces he tenido que decir no? 
God, I want to get off the throne. Dios mío, no te And I want to give you control. the controller. Y te voy a entregar a ti el control. Why don't you stand with me? ¿Por qué no nos ponemos de pie? Are you holding on trying to navigate your life around all the junk and the stuff that's coming your way? Estás tratando de mantenerte alrededor de todas estas basuras y estas situaciones que están viniendo a tu vida? Are you trying to oh I just want the treasure so I want to just do what feels good to me. O estás tratando de no, yo quiero mantener este tesoro y solo quiero hacer lo que se siente bien para mí. Mark 8:35, would you put that up for me? Mark. For whosoever desires to save his life will lose it. Porque todo el que quiera salvar su vida la perderá. But whosoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. Y todo el que pierda su vida por causa de mí y del evangelio la salvará. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Porque qué aprovechará el, al hombre si ganare todo el mundo. And loses his own soul. Y perdiere su propia alma. Or what? Okay. Will a man give in exchange for his right. soul? O qué recompensa dará el hombre por su alma? It all boils down to this. Y todo llega a este punto. Who has the control? ¿Quién tiene el control? I wanted to end this service in prayer. Yo quería terminar este servicio en oración. And this sermon is for everyone. Y este sermón es para todos. God is asking today if you will give him control. Y te está preguntando hoy si tú le darías el control. Kids, there's some here that need the Holy Ghost. Hay niños aquí que necesitan el Espíritu Santo. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you can get the Holy Ghost today. Y si no tienes el Espíritu Santo, tú puedes recibir el Espíritu If Santo you're a hoy. young person or an adult and you don't have the Holy Ghost. Si eres un joven o, o un adulto que no tiene el Espíritu Santo. God wants to give you the Holy Ghost today. Dios quiere darte el Espíritu Santo hoy. He loves you. Él te ama. Jesus loves you. Listen to me. He is for you. Jesús te ama. Escúchame. Él está he is not para against ti. you. Por ti, no en contra de ti. He sees what is coming in your life. Él está viendo lo que está viniendo hacia tu vida. Will you give him control today? Le podrás dar hoy el control a él. Parents, will you pray with your kids? Padres, oren con sus niños. Kids, will you pray for your parents? Niños, oren por sus padres. Young people, adults. Jóvenes, adultos. Will you lift your hands in prayer today? Levanten sus manos in hoy surrender. en oración. Y ríndanse. Let him take the chains off. Dejen que él rompa todas the bondage cadenas. off. Let him have control of every situation in your life. Dejen que él tome el control de toda situación sobre sus vidas. Come on, you have to give it to him. Vamos, tienes que entregarle el control. You can't a él. just stand there. He's not going to take it from you. No puedes solamente pararte ahí porque él no you lo va a You have to give it to him right now. Tú tienes que entregárselo ahora. Could we pray one for another? Podemos orar unos por otros. Leaders, let's pray. Church, let's pray. Oremos, iglesia, oremos. Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost in this room. Yo siento el Espíritu Santo Will en you este give lugar. God control right now? Denle a Dios el control ahora. Come on, it's an everyday activity that you have to do. Vamos, en, es en toda actividad diaria, diaria, diaria que tú tienes que hacer. God, I take my hands off of the controller. Dios, quita mis manos in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost be poured out right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I pray God Lord touch our kids touch our young people God Lord those God that think that what they're doing they're hiding but you see God you've spoken to them today God you're saying stop That choice is leading in a wrong direction. God, I pray, God, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Touch our young people, God. God, touch that wife that's lonely, God. God.
Jesus. Come on, church. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray. Pray for each other. Come on, cast fear out of this house. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak the word, God. Let it be done, God. In the name of Jesus. Touch and move, God, I pray, Lord. I pray, God, upon each family, Lord, in this house, God. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.